Hi, my name is Philip. Today I will talk to you about frequent subgraph mining. It is a task in data mining where we want to analyze graph to find some subgraph that appear frequently okay, in one or more graphs. So the goal is to discover some knowledge in some graph data that we have. Uh, this is a popular data mining task, so it is very interesting to talk about this. If you want to try subgraph mining, you can find the code and some data sets to do research or to try on your data in the SPMF software, which is open source. Uh, and I am the founder of this software. So let me give you some introduction. In frequent subgraph mining, the basic problem, we look at a graph for the data. The data is a graph, and a graph consists of a set of vertices and some edges. Vertices mean some nodes, like here. I have a node 10, 11, 10, and another 11, and I have some edges between them. On this picture, the number like 10, 20, 11, they represent the type of node or the type of edges. Okay, so here I have two nodes of type 10. It's like a label or a type. And I have different edges of different type 20, 21, and so on. So for example, if this graph is a social network, the different types of edge could be different types of relationship, like this person is the parent of another person, or is the brother of another person, and so on. So we have a graph like this with some uh, labels. Okay. So we say this graph has four vertices and one, two, three, four, five edges. Now, when we talk about graph, usually, we can talk about connected graph or disconnected graph. A connected graph is a graph where, by following the edges, you can go from any vertex to any other vertices. So, for example, from this uh, node, I can go by following the edges to all the other nodes. So, it is a connected graph. Here on the right, I have an example of a disconnected graph. Because from this node, I cannot go to the other node. If I try, there's no edges. Okay. So, in this uh, problem, subgraph mining, usually we are interested in finding the connected uh, subgraph. Okay. There are also different other types of graph that we may be interested to analyze. Uh, what we call undirected graph, you can see on the left. There are edges, but there are no direction to the edges. For example, if this is a city, the, the nodes are the cities and the edge are the roads, maybe you can travel the two directions between the cities. You can go from air to air or air to air. So there's no direction. But also sometimes in some applications, we have a directed graph, as you can see on the right. So here the edges have some directions. So this just to give you a few definitions. So if we want to analyze graph, there are many data mining or machine learning tasks we can do on graph. For example, we can detect the communities or try to predict who will be friend with who or to detect the influence of the people on other people, let's say in a social network. So we need to think when we want to analyze a graph, what is our goal? What kind of data? Is it a directed graph, undirected graph, a single graph or multiple small graphs and so on? In frequent subgraph mining, what I will talk to you today, the goal is to find some interesting subgraph, where interesting means the subgraph is frequent, appear many times in 
a set of graph, what we call a graph database. So we have many graphs and we try to find a subgraph that appears many times, one or more. Okay, we call it frequent subgraphs. So let me show you uh, simply what is the input. So in the, the, the basic problem, we have a graph database, a set of graph. So here I have a database of graphs. I have three graphs and I need to set a parameter called the minimum support to analyze this. So the minimum support means I want to find the subgraphs that will appear, for example, in at least three of these graphs from my database. So it is a parameter that the user needs to set. Okay. So this is my data I want to analyze and I want to find everything appear at least three times in three graphs of this database. So let me show you the result, the output. On the left, I have the graph database that I showed you just before. I set the parameter to three. And on the right, you can see the result. These, those are the three frequent subgraphs that appear in this database. So why they are frequent? For example, the first one is just one node, okay, 10. It appears one time in one graph, in another graph, and another graph. So we say it appears three times. It is at least three, so it is a frequent subgraph. 11, it is the same. It appears one time, two times, and a third graph also. So it has a support, a frequency of three. It is at least three, so it is a frequent subgraph. It is important to say that 11 appear more times, okay, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. But we don't want to count all the 11. We just want to know how many graphs contain 11. And it is three, okay, not five. Now let's look at the third pattern, a node with the label 10 an edge 20 and another node with the label 11. So this pattern appear three times in three graphs, I mean. So air, air and air. So the support is a three, at least three. So it is a frequency of graph. So this is the intuitive definition about the problem of subgraph mining, frequency of graph mining where we have graph database and we want to find what is common to these graphs appear many times. Uh, why, how can we use this? For example, we have a database about the chemical molecules. So we have different molecules and we want to find some patterns in this. Okay, so we could find the result you see on the right. Also, in some papers, they have changed the problem. So instead of finding the frequent subgraph in a graph database, we will find them in a single graph. So this is a variation of the traditional problem. Okay. So instead of a graph database, our data is a single graph. So now if we have a single graph, we will try to count how many times the, the subgraph appear in this, okay. So let me show you just an example. Here I have a single graph and I set the minimum support to two. And as a result, I will find some subgraphs like you can see on the right, okay. So, Let's take one of these subgraphs as example, like, like this one here. It appears twice. Here is one occurrence and here is another occurrence. Okay. So this subgraph has a support of two. It is at least two. So it is a frequent subgraph. So you could look out the other subgraph if you want. Okay. But this is the result. So this is also interesting, maybe even more, because you can analyze a single graph, like a social network, okay? 
you have a very big graph and you try to find some patterns in it. So if you want to do subgraph mining, there are several algorithms like G-SPAN, TKG, and so on. And generally, the same algorithm can be applied to a single graph or multiple graphs. But by uh, default, they are defined for multiple graphs. But you can change this algorithm, most of them, to be applied also to a single graph. But it requires some modification. And also it is possible to uh, study some variation of this, to find the path or the trees or the close or maximal subgraph. There are many variations of this problem of frequent subgraph mining. So that's all I wanted to talk about for today. It's just a small introduction. Thank you for watching.